Hello everyone, right here I have a 2021 Audi Q5 45 TFSI Quattro S sign. And today I'm going to make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it, show you the features inside and out. So here is the key fob. Let's go ahead and start it up first. As you can see, the side mirrors are currently folded in. Upon turning on the ignition, the side mirrors will automatically fold out. Then upon locking the car, the side mirrors will automatically fold in again. If you press and hold on the unlock button, you are able to roll down all four windows in the car simultaneously. And to roll all of them back up together, just press and hold on the lock button. This Q5 comes with Audi's version of a smart keyless entry and start system. So, just have the key form on yourself, the car is currently unlocked. To lock the car, press the indentation on any of the four door handles. And to unlock the car, just wait a moment and tap the area again behind any of the four door handles. Along with that smart keyless entry is a keyless push button start system. So, to start the Q5, make sure the key fob is inside the car. Put your foot on the brake and press the start button located right down here. The FYQ5 comes with an electric rack and pinion power steering system. Leather wrapped steering wheel with sport grips at 10 and 2 is present with the S-Sign trim. In Malaysia, the 2.0 TFSI 249 engine is paired to a 7-speed Astronic Dual Clutch Automated Manual Transmission. Two clutches are used in an Astronic transmission, one for odd gears and another for even gears. Astronic is designed to give drivers faster shift times and better fuel consumption over a conventional automatic transmission. This transmission features a Sport Mode and Tiptronic manual shifting, the latter controlled by either the gear lever or the pedal shifters behind the top two steering wheel spokes. Front and rear parking sensors and a reverse camera are standard features in the Q5. The reverse camera features active guidance signs, and to the bottom left of the camera display, one can turn off or on the reverse camera as well as bring up the settings menu. Safety features in the 2021 Q5 include 6 airbags, an anti-lock braking system, electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, electronic stability control, anti-skid regulation, a tire pressure monitoring system, and an immobilizer. Isofix child seat anchor points are found on the outer two rear seats and the front passenger seat. Nineteen inch five double spoke star style alloy rims are present on the twenty twenty one Q five S sign. This Q five rides on Continental Conti Sport Contact five two three five fifty five R nineteen tires. Both front and rear get ventilated disc brakes and a multi link suspension setup. The Q five was first unveiled at the two thousand eight Beijing Auto Show. It is Audi's second Q model after the larger Q seven debut just over two years earlier at the two thousand five Frankfurt Motor Show. The first generation Q5, codenamed 8R, was on sale between 2008 and 2017. This model was only available as a 5-door crossover SUV and it rode on the MLB platform. 
The second generation Q5, codenamed FY, has been on sale since 2017. The FY Q5 now rides on the MLB EVO platform and was revealed at the 2016 Paris Motor Show. For the FY Q5, there are three body styles available, a 5-door short wheelbase crossover SUV, a 5-door long wheelbase crossover SUV, and a 5-door coupe crossover SUV. The long wheelbase Q5 is only on sale in China, while the coupe version is sold as a Q5 Sportback. The FY Q5 was given a face shift in 2020 for the 2021 model year. In Malaysia, the FY Q5 went on sale in March 2019 for the pre-face shift model, and in August 2021 for the face shifted model. Only one variant of the Q5 is on sale in Malaysia at the moment, and that is the 45 TFSI Quattro as signed Astronic. Under the bonnet of this Q5 is VW Group's EA888, 2-litre, dual overhead cams, 16 valves, turbocharged, and line 4 petrol engine. This engine features variable valve timing and direct injection. It produces 246 horsepower at 5,000 to 6,000 RPM and 370 Nm of torque at 1,600 to 4,500 RPM. 0 to 100 km per hour takes 6.3 seconds, on the top speed of 237 km per hour. 70 liters is the fuel tank capacity, and the combined fuel consumption for the Q545 TFSI Quattro Astronic is 8 liters per 100 km. Carbon dioxide emissions is 182 grams per kilometer, and Quattro means that this Q5 is an all-wheel drive vehicle. Exterior features of the 2021 Q5 S sign include automatic auto-leveling LED projector headlights, automatic wipers, LED daytime running lights, LED front fog lights, LED indicators for the front, the sides, and the rear, LED rear lights, LED rear number plate lights, rear fog lights, body-colored door handles and side mirrors, silver roof rails, and dual exhaust pipes. Speaker, that button operates the power rear hatch, storage, mirror controls, window controls, all of the windows in this car are powered and all of them do have a full automatic function in both directions. Electronic child locks and window locks for the rear doors. Central locking, two-person memory function for the driver's seat. And speaking of the driver's seat, it is fully powered in this Q5S sign with all of the controls located right down there including your 4-way power lumbar support. The only manual adjustment for the seat comes in the form of the thigh support adjusted using the lever right here. Interior brightness adjustment As dorsals, all right, so let's go ahead and see how it revs.
triple zone automatic climate control system. These are your front controls and there are a separate set of temperature controls for the rear which I'll show you later. But back to the front controls. On off, recirculation, driver side temperature and automatic mode together with different modes. Front passenger side temperature, automatic mode and different modes. Front and rear defrost. Three stage heated seats for the front passenger and driver. And in the middle, you have your sink, tree zone, or you can set the rear temperature from here. Sink means if you have it turned on, the driver side will control all of the temperature zones. But if you turn it off, each side will have their individual temperature controls. Obviously, if you turn it off, it'll be under the tree zone mode. Fan speed, air conditioning, on, off, or max. Below, this button turns off the infotainment system. This one is for your downhill assist, parking sensors, your stability control. This button activates or deactivates the vehicle's automatic stop-start feature. If the feature is activated, the engine will momentarily shut off when you arrive at a stop, such as a traffic light or a traffic jam to save that extra bit of petrol that the car uses. And right here, you have your drive select buttons. Below, storage, a USB-A port, together with a cigarette lighter or a power outlet depending on what you use it for. More storage right here and right here. And right here is the Q5's electronic parking brake. It is currently engaged. To disengage it, put your foot on the brake and push the lever down. To engage it, simply pull the lever back up. There is an auto hold function for the parking brake whereby, say again you arrive at a stop such as a traffic line or traffic jam, the car is in drive, you lift your foot off the brake. With the auto hold function activated, the car won't actually move forward or roll back. The Q5S sign comes with the MMI Navigation Plus touchscreen head unit. This system features a 10.1 inch infotainment display, various media connectivity options, and navigation. Sound is routed to the Audi sound system with 10 speakers producing 180 watts of power. <laughs> The stock sound system that this Q5 uses is actually quite good. We are currently in the Bluetooth audio streaming menu with the current song playing information. Right here, we have the settings menu. Bluetooth device name, you can change the source right here. And right here we have the media center with your artists, albums, tracks, so on and so forth. And below we have the current media playing information, the title, artist, album, song duration, with the song duration bar below. And down below, you can bring up your list. Activate your shuffle and repeat, play pause, go back a song, go for a song, and to go back to the home menu, just hit the home button right here. Right now we are in the home menu, you have your radio, media, media goes back to the menu that we were just in, under telephone, you can search for a number, look at your call list, favorites, dial number, listen to your voicemail, and bring up your contacts. Right above. We have the settings. Under navigation, right here we are in the map. Under search, you can obviously search for destination. You can enter your points of interest. You can enter your address. You can even enter the address via voice control and all that. Here we have the destination selection via last destinations, favorites, contacts, and receive destinations and tours. 
right here. Navigation settings. And right here, you can change the map view. Below, your traffic information if available, as well as your elevation and zoom level for the map. Phone apps allows you to connect to the system wirelessly via Android Auto or Apple CarPlay and the car. We have your various car settings with your LD Drive Select, Parking Aid, Driver Assist, Air Conditioning, so on and so forth. Favorites. You have your various favorite options. And the settings, you have your general settings, display and brightness, language and keyboard, sound, connected devices, so on and so forth. Help, users, you can read messages, uh, the legal data, and you can also view the weather below. And to the far left, we have your media, telephone, and navigation. Radio, media, telephone, and navigation are what these four shortcut buttons are for, respectively. And from the top down, if we hit the time and date, we can set the time and date. Notifications. your profiles, Wi-Fi, and sound. You can turn off the display right here as well. Electronic central locking. And as I explained earlier, this car does have power folding side mirrors. To fold the side mirrors in from the inside, twist this knob to the bottom left. If the knob is twisted to the bottom right, that activates the heated side mirrors. Wiper controls, Bluetooth telephone control, voice control, favorite button, volume knob, if you push the knob down, it mutes the system, seat track, and right here, you have your multi-information display controls. Left and right goes between the different main menus. Use the wheel to go, to go between the different sub-menus. Push the wheel down to select. Hit return to go back. And this one brings up the options for that particular menu. View changes the view of the instrument cluster. Okay, so now let's move on to the multi-information display. Currently, date and time, consumption information with your average and instant fuel consumption, driving data since the last startup, driving data long term. Under the two driving data, you have your average fuel consumption, average speed, elapsed time, and distance travel. Convenience consumers, driver assist. Next up, your media information, telephone information, navigation, and back to your driving data. Indicator controls. Cruise control and speed limiter controls. And the steering wheel in this car is tilt and telescopic. You adjust it using this lever right here. Front center armrest. With storage down below, you can find a USB-C port right in there as well. Yes, more storage right here. And this part is actually adjustable, 
So if you side it to the back, you have cup holders right here. Frameless auto dimming rear view mirror, LED reading lights. This one turns on off the lights when you open the doors. This one turns on the lights. SOS emergency button, and this button calls the roadside assistance. Sun visor for the driver's side does get a vanity mirror and an LED light. And also for the driver is a grip handle. Alright, so I guess that's it for the startup. We can turn it off right now. And continue with the rest of the tour. Speaker, storage, window control, sunshades for the rear windows, and the rear seat backs in this Q5 do fold. They split 40 20 40 when folding, and to fold them down, first make sure the headrests are all the way down. And there are actually a couple of ways to fold the rear seat backs down. You can use the levers on either sides of the rear seat bases or the levers on either sides of the boot. Either way, just pull them and flip the seat backs down. They do lock into place. You can use the same lever to adjust the angle of the seat back so you can have it more upright or more laid back depending on what you prefer. Now, the lever on that side folds down the left seat and the middle seat and as seen just a while ago, the lever on this side folds down the right seat. To fold down only the middle seat, there is a button right here. I did set the driver's seat to a position that I would feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 7 which is about 1.7 meters tall. There is quite a lot of room to stretch out my feet underneath the driver's seat. As for leg room, I get about this much. And I get about this much in terms of headroom. It is actually quite nice and spacious back here. The seats are quite comfortable as well. On the front seat backs are storage pockets together with cutouts that help with additional legroom. Rear aircon vents in the middle with the aforementioned rear temperature controls. You have your plus and minus buttons on either sides of the display in the middle. Power outlet. Rear center armrest with cup holders. Right above, for both sides at the back are grip handles and hooks. And you can also find hooks on the B pillars. Rear LED reading slash interior lights.
There are four ways to operate the powered rear hatch in this 2021 Q5. Boot space in the Q5 is 550 litres with the rear seat backs in place. Fold the rear seat backs down, remove the cargo cover, and the boot space becomes 1550 litres. On both sides of the boot are LED lights, hooks, and storage pockets. To the left of the boot is a storage strap, and within the storage pocket on the right is a power outlet. Under the boot floor is the vehicle's spare tyre, toolkit, and jack. Adjustable headrests, front and rear. Window control, storage, speaker, and the front passenger seat in this car does get full powered adjustments as well, with the same set of adjustments as found on the driver's side, including your four way power lumbar support and manual thigh support. The only thing that the front passenger seat misses out on is the memory function. Lockable glove box, it is of a decent size. Grip handle for the front passenger. And the front passenger's sun visor does get a vanity mirror with an LED light as well. Alright, so let's start it up with the door closed. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle tour video of this 2021 Audi Q5 45 TFSI Quattro S sign. Thanks for watching and goodbye.